Hey guys, Canoe Backcountry Expert Dave Nerone out here today and uh, the other day we installed a full set of these uh, Fox Float 3 Evol full suspension on this 175 Ski Do Summit and uh, so far I'm loving it. I just want to talk a little bit about the shocks itself as, uh, as well as the setup. So basically one of the reasons I chose uh, the uh, Float 3 Evols over like a coilover is because they're a little bit lighter and they also have far more adjustability. Um, the reason why you go with say a piggyback shock for those that don't know is when you think about it this shock has air and oil in it. Uh, when you compress the oil if it has nowhere to go like a piggyback it gets stiffer very quickly through its suspension travel. The piggyback allows that oil somewhere to go so it resists bottom out better and the transition of compression is much smoother. So that's one of the reasons to have a piggyback. The same is true with the Evol chamber down here in the main chamber there's air that you can add. So when you think about it when this uh, compress the suspension compresses every inch the pressure doubles. So if you put 50 pounds in the main chamber when you compress it one inch that's a hundred pounds and it compress another inch so two inches is 200 pounds. So basically the Evol chamber allows for that air to go somewhere and so again it resists bottoming out and it's a nicer, smoother transition through the suspension travel. Your Evol, susp um, your Evol pressure will always be higher than your main chamber. You can put up to 150 pounds in your main chamber and 300 pounds in the Evol chamber. I'm much lighter than that, so I actually have 50, uh, 55 pounds in my uh, main chamber and 105 pounds in my Evol chamber. Uh, real easy setup. If you want it to, to if you find that too stiff, you can uh, go let take air out or add it. Usually by five psi as you're as you're doing that, um, and it makes it very easy to do so with your air pump, which I have with me today. Um, and that's a little bit about how and why to sort of set it up. Um, also, you have your rebound down here, and this uh, uh, basically. Uh, controls how fast the shock rebounds and I have it set in the middle and uh, if you're gonna move that in or out basically by two clicks at a time will give you that a little bit better uh, feeling and, and know what to do. You basically want it to come back as quick as possible without bucking you. And we've got the QS3 here uh, which is one, two or three settings and actually I'm amazed how the difference between the three settings. So in the powder I'll run one and uh, if it's stiffer, harder conditions, I'll run two. And then down the trail, I usually put it on three. And uh, boy, does that make a difference. You can really attack all those, uh, those whoops on the trail. So that's a little bit about how to set it up. And uh, we'll keep you posted as the season moves along. Well, don't forget to get down here in your center shock and adjust your Evol pressure, your main pressure, as well as your rebound. An easy way to get to this is just throw your sled up on its side and you can get at everything that you need to. Well, I really look forward to those whoops on the trail now with this rad Fox suspension. We'll see you out there.